a special edition of the Chibanda Pandit comes live to you uh, from Kawa Sports. And uh, this is kind of special, given the fact that we have the big game in the country, that's Vipers against uh, KCCA. And uh, in a special way, uh, we have uh, the visitors from either side. Of course, they'll be talking a lot of football. Uh, they've never played football, by the way. So they are not players and neither are they coaches. But of course, uh, <laughs> they are employed to talk. They are employed to talk. And so they'll talk a lot of the game. And then we wait to see what will happen uh, on the field. Ismail Chonga is my name. And I'm joined by uh, Akes Epiarao, and Moses Magero. Welcome back to the Chibanda Pants because I meant to understand this is your second time here. Yes. I'm very humbled to be at the Chibanda Pandits uh, edition. I don't know which edition this one is, but I know ahead of the big one tomorrow. <laughs> just like you introduced, Moses Magiro Mwanje, uh, PR OKC Football Club, and a uh, champion of the Uganda Premier League. Uh, On my left is uh, Abdul Dilishan Wasike, a.k.a. Tata Mo. Uh, he's here to talk on behalf of Vipers. Of course, Fasi they are... Producer. Yeah, of course they are trying to they are trying to wrestle the championship from KCCA. We don't know whether that will happen, but of course tomorrow uh, they have a very very big chance to open up a point uh, an eight point gap. But before that, Abdul, the viewers of Kawo Sports Chibanda Pandits. Are Good evening to, to all the me. viewers of uh, Kawo uh, Chibanda Pandits. I think I was the first producer of the Chihuahua of the Kao Ch 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 Chimanda Pandits in Cairo. Mm. And I'm happy to see the brand growing day by day because now we have even have wireless microphones, we have everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm happy uh, to see that the brand is growing and uh, I'm happy to be here again for the second time, I think. Yeah, and for the viewers out there, uh, it was in Egypt, Kyle. Uh, Heriopolis, Maskidikadida, uh, <laughs> where the name Tatamo uh, did originate. So uh, when I call him Tatamo, uh, it's not that he has a son here, but of course his son uh, in uh, Egypt because he enjoyed the capital of <laughs> Egypt <laughs> a lot. Uh, but before we go into the big one, mm. uh, there will be Uganda Premier League games tomorrow besides KCCA visiting Vipers. Uh, Watch Sojans will be in action uh, hosting Maroons at Kabaka Chabago State. And uh, then we shall have Busoga United host unbeaten URA, unbeaten URA because they are unbeaten in the year 2020. And also uh, we shall have another game, uh, police hosting Bright Stars. Uh, that would be a big one, a uh, relegation six-pointer. Uh, that would be at Gogo. Uh, so those are the games that will be uh, played in the Uganda Premier League tomorrow. Uh, but of course, like I said, there is a big one. KCCA. Are on 44 points and the Vipers are on 49. A win tomorrow for Vipers, you'll see them straight to lead to 8 points. However, before we go into all that, let's hear from the uh, horse's mouth uh, regard, uh, regarding team news. Uh, I meant to understand a couple of uh, cases a players are not going to play tomorrow uh, because of injuries. I don't know Monsieur, whether. I'm the host. You said from the horse's mouth. No, from, from the, the horse's host. mouth. All of you have okay. mounted, yeah. Okay. Of course I will come to you because it's <laughs> going to be host. a very, very balanced show. Uh, let me start with the champion because yeah. that's what he prefers to be called. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> what's the uh, news in camp? Um, <clears throat> there's quite so much in the camp, <clears throat> positive and negative news. But uh, to start with, uh, with the negative, uh, some players will not be part of this one. Uh, most of, not most of them, a couple of them are injured. Um, so you already have uh, a reason for losing tomorrow? No, that's not a reason. Uh, <laughs> when the season starts, we license 32 players. Okay, we're given uh, a number of 32 players to license. You may not make the number, you might make it. So we, we just had a couple of players. And uh, to start with, John Revita is out of this one. He started running, but this one is too, I mean, a little bit early for him. Mm. If he's to play, we expect him to play the Express game. That is if, to, if he's really fit between now and, and Friday. But he started running. Uh, the other player we do not expect tomorrow is um, uh, Jackson Nunda. He's been out since, uh, mm. I think, the Vipers game. He will game. soon become a doctor because every time he's into the <laughs> No, he's, he's, yeah, he comes back and then gets injured, but unfortunately he will not be part of this one. Uh, Jackson Nunda is also, I mean, he's out. Sadat Anaku, I think, it comes a little bit early for him. When I left the training ground this uh, afternoon, he was part of the team that was training, took part in the full team training. 
but uh, it will depend on the manager. Uh, I mean, and the, sorry, the doctors. If the doctors can pass him fit this evening, mm. then probably we'll have him tomorrow. Julius Porto, the same thing. He's able to run just like uh, uh, John Revita. Uh, both of them got injured during the URA game uh, away in Deje. But uh, in my own perspective, I think it would be a little bit early for him. <laughs> but it depends on the doctors uh, this uh, afternoon. And then Samuel Kato is also out. Of, I mean, sorry, he's back training with the team. Is also maybe a person that will have to pass the late fitness test. Mm -hmm. So, um, Murzambi Mutiaba is back fully training with the team. Saddam Juma back fully training with the team. Simon Serum Kuba and Eric Senjobe sub their suspensions are back. Uh, uh, Kizuru so and is the same. Uh, Nicholas Kasos is out of this one, he's injured. So, a couple of players are coming back, others do not have that much fitness, others are fully back. So. Yeah, that's the situation in camp. But the rest of the players are, are, are good to go. All right. Case the fans out there, you know you're not going to have John Revita, Julius Proto maybe in Samuel Kato the same. But of course, the big man, Ibrahim Saddam Juma, is a very bad. So is Muzamir Mutiaba. Uh, Abdul Asiki, yeah. what's the camp in new, uh, the news in camp regarding uh, injuries? I would say for us it's a positive note because most of our players are now back. I remember we, we, we didn't have Halid Radiwa, the team captain, he's back. We didn't have uh, Bayo because he was suspended after getting three yellow cards, but now he's back. And Saji Sentam is also back, uh, the same with uh, Karim, uh, Karim Watamba, the youngster, is back. Uh, then uh, I think a couple of injuries, we have one with uh, Farouk uh, Msisi, Farouk which is a long one. Yeah, and then uh, Aziz Kavin is also su suspended because of three yellow cards. Uh, then the rest have been on long term, term injuries. Yeah, Mulondo, Rashito, Mohamed Shaban. Shaban, Shaban. But Mohamed Shaban, uh, likely th three weeks, he'll be back in action fully. Oh, yeah. so KCC survived Muhammad Shaban. The last time the two <laughs> teams met at the same stadium, he scored. Uh, he scored. Of course, yeah. they went on to lose yeah. because I remember it was 3 2 in favor of Vipers, mm. despite him scoring for KCC. Uh, Magero, this is a game where if KCC loses, it will be nearly impossible uh, for them to win the title. Uh, do you see the league being decided tomorrow because after eight points gap mm. i think it will be tough for kcca to play catch up uh for me impossible I, I mean i don't concur with that why because an eight point gap can still be narrowed down uh it just makes it a little more difficult for the club if we to, if we are to lose tomorrow against vipers because an eight points gap would be big with around eight games to go but that that they mean it's impossible because they could lose two games and it makes it harder for them let me say they lose two more and then as we win, yet we lost uh, against them. So for me, I think it will be a little bit difficult to make it more difficult if we lost tomorrow. Uh, but then it changes if we win, because then it means we are, we are, we are just two points away from them. It, 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 it takes more pressure to them because they are the ones at the top. We are the ones chasing. So I think if we win tomorrow, the only way we can keep ourselves more into this is go there and get three points. With a point, it keeps it, I mean, the, the situation as it is, because will be will still have the five points gap but then no one wants to go and get yeah, a point in the game there, there, there the, are so many games to play yeah. i think eight after tomorrow so uh, so abdu uh, this is a very very big chance to stretch the lead to eight points uh do you see that happening tomorrow or you're going to go into the game as cowards because according to case coach mike Mutevi today he says this is not a special game it's a game like any other and then when he was asked about uh, the approach uh, by freddy kajova uh, because we know from the clubs he's coached simba and breast stars he's been a little cautious uh, so mike mutebi does not believe there is a difference between kajova and golola because he says even golola's vipers we're, we're playing uh, defensive football and being cautious are we seeing the defensive approach tomorrow so that uh, you guys just go get a point First of all, when my friend uh, Coach Mike says that the game is not that big, special, and for us, to be to give us the three points. Well, I'm good if it's not special, but for us, we need the three points. So, uh, what tomorrow. makes this game special, in your opinion? In my opinion, is the players, first of all, because uh, we have players who have played from uh, Vipers and now in KCCA, likes of Saddam Juma, likes of uh, Kezirone, the likes of. Uh, 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 Mike Mutiaba, Simon Serunkuma, Serunkuma well. those, pro those, those are the products of Chitende. So I think it makes the, the encounter more harder. And, uh, I'm really, 
and really see some good football tomorrow. Uh, but uh, in terms of uh, the pitch, I'm not technical tactical, but uh, <laughs> I expect good football uh, from my team because we played really very well against uh, Bull FC. It was a very good game. I saw endurance, I saw character, the way the players compose themselves going to this game and picking the three points, something I expect to see tomorrow as well. Uh, would you describe Mike mm. Mutebi's uh, dig at your club, his defensive approach, mm. as something to take pleasure off his side? I think he's taking off pressure off his side. When he says he's uh, very defensive, then I think let him take off Every team has to have <laughs> defenders. Not so. Yeah, it's also he plays a system of 3-5-2 sometimes or 3-5. Yeah, these days he one. plays a 4-2 something. Automatically, he has yeah. to be defensive. Uh, Every team has to be defensive. Uh, Margaret, I mean, case is a camp. Uh, we have Kezron Chizito, uh, Mike Mutiaba, Ibrahim Saddam Juma, uh, Simon Serunkuma, and also there is Ashlaf Mugume, Fadiga. Of course, he won't be playing tomorrow, but tell us, what do those guys talk about this game in particular? Because uh, uh, these are guys that have, yeah, that have been at Chitende and they will be having a point to prove. What exactly uh, are they talking about this game? Well, uh, I, have, I happen to have shared with uh, almost all of them uh, in the build-up to this game. And uh, I will not mention specific names, but most of the players say, um, I mean, back then they used to play for Vipers. Yeah. Right now they play for KCCA. And all that matters right now is KCCA Football Club. And for them, going there to Chitende and winning, because KCCA has not won a game yet there. They had the chance last season and we, we did not win yeah, it. Because Abraham Saddam Juma missed a penalty. Yes, he missed a penalty. But then when you talk to most of them, they're like, they want to get there and win it. And, uh, you know, these are, these are some of the players that you need in such games. I mean, players that have big-time character, big, I mean, big uh, game players. For example, Saddam Juma. We saw Kezron played in the first leg against Vipers. Uh, Seki Sambu has made the right wing his own on the day. So uh, the same with Seru, Simon Serukuma has not had that much playing time in the second round, coming from a suspension, and it was a little bit hard to get into the team when Moses Alira had picked up. But then when you go by the, uh, the, the, the practice games they've always had, you see there is that hang. And for this one, I feel everybody wants to take part. So for me, the 18 that they will name on the day, whether they are former Vipers players or none, Oh, a mixture of them, I feel all of them can go there and put up a very good show. So, uh, that, that, that was a very good question to my comment. Yeah, yeah on, the think, other, on the other hand, no, no. there is Paul Muchures that side. Uh -huh. He crossed from uh, KCCA mm. uh, to Mbarana City. Mm. Of course, uh, that, was, yeah, th that was mm. not uh, uh, a good move. What? A good move. Mm. Uh, in in term, your opinion? Yeah, in, in my opinion. Mm. But of course, Vipers <laughs> were always hunting for him. Mm. He's now at the club, scored mm. just once mm. in uh, three, four games. Uh, that was against Chetume. Mm. Uh, uh, is he giving tactics to these other players <laughs> about how to beat KCC? Because he's been with Mike Mutevi for uh, some years. But I think we have beaten KCC before even Paul Mutuez came to the club. The 3 2, we won. Uh, yeah, against, uh, was in KCC. Yeah, don't you think that but he has the tactics players, to beat KCC? We have the players that uh, put up a good performance to beat KCC, likes of Kalisa, the likes of Halid, the likes of Geoffrey Waswa, I still around the team, the likes of Asiku, I still around the team. So, yes, he may come up with some tactics to the coach, which is good to give the coach some tactics on how to beat KCC because they, they beat KCC when he was in yeah. Mbarada uh, last time. So I think it's uh, something good. But when you come to the players that, that you mentioned that were in Vipers and now in KCC, some of them have won tro trophies with Vipers. Yeah. So I don't Chizito think they come to prove a point. No, no, no. No, do you think uh, we have Ibrahim Saddam Juma? Who was raised by Vipers after winning the 2014 15 championship? Yeah. Uh, then Mike Mutiaba, the same. Mm. These guys went to Express FC. Yeah. Uh, then through Express FC, mm. they are at KCCA. Mm. Don't you think there is a, a score to yeah, yeah, settle? Yeah, okay. There's a score to settle. In, in this, they are coming to prove a point that we, we were still good and you let us go. Yeah. You see? But for us, we are like, mm, these are our old boys coming back to, to visit us. So, so welcome them. So what, what you're trying to say is mm. that despite the inside knowledge about you, Thank you, you also much. have inside knowledge about, about the them. team. Yeah, too much. Uh, we've not won at Chitende. 
a couple of teams have went there. SC Villa have done it twice. Uh, Pida Black Angels have done it twice. Uh, no, once. Uh, do you see yourself getting the first three points from each tend? Uh, very possible. Um, I felt in in 2017 when uh, when Vipers won 3-2, I felt we had a chance on that day. The day uh, Tadeo and Okelo really? ran the show. Mm -hmm. I felt we had a chance that day. Really? Oh, we had. I mean, it was possible for us to win there, but uh, we were not able to. Uh, you feel every year it's been we've been Close. just on yeah, closer. closer. And then last year we had the chance because one one we get a penalty and Saddam misses it. I mean, but I felt we were closer. So this year we were not there five points behind the, the leaders. So um, you cannot afford to lose. We just if the players know it. Everyone knows it at the club and everyone believes in that kind of philosophy. We just cannot afford to draw points. And going by the press conference this morning, Mike Motevi I, I mean put it out there and said we are going we're going there with an intention to win. If I mean we just want to go and leave but of, course, but, but, but of course before every game Mike Motevi mm -hmm. has already said we have enough in our Amari mm -hmm. to go there and win. He mm -hmm. said so before the team first URA, before the team first yeah, Bright Stars, mm -hmm. and then in Barara, but of course they never came out to, uh, uh, just what? like I mean any manager before I mean he, that's what he feels at the time because he feels his squad is ready to get there and, and, and pick the maximum points. But sometimes things don't go your way. But I mean what makes this different is I mean, the manager wants it, the players want it, they want to go for the first time and win there. You have a couple of old, uh, old boys of the, the club going there. The fans themselves are also bring more hype to it. Uh, the bidding towards this game and the magnitude for it, for me, I feel also adds something to the game. They, it may not be direct that they don't play, but from the social media banter, from the fans that are going to come down to the stadium, from the media guys that are writing stories about this big game, for me, I feel all that uh, contributes to it. So, Mike Motevi feels this, I mean, sorry, said it this morning that we're going to Chitende to leave everything on the pitch. Let, let us go and not have any excuse at the end of the game that, I mean, we did not win because maybe we did not play well. No, go and give your very best and, and, and probably leave the rest to maybe go. All right. Previously, uh, this was a game between Alan Okero and then Engineer Tadeo Rwanga. Uh, from your perspective, the two of you, who are the key players that could be deciding this game, starting with uh, Abdul Wasiki? I think one will be Fahad Bayo up front, because remember in the first leg, the, the guy didn't play. Yeah, because uh, yeah, he was a he was national Ukraine, duty. Team. And then uh, in the midfield, uh, I'm looking forward to the battle between uh, Kezron and Swaji Center in the middle. Though, though in the first leg, I think the battle was won by Kezron. So this time, I think they've this time I think I, the fully fit strategy center will show us the potential. And then uh, Kalisa as well, in case he's given a starting role. I would like to see how uh, Chiza will contain Kalisa in uh, that wing. Uh, looks like uh, Milton Kalisa will have his second debut mm. uh, for Vipers against <laughs> KCCA uh, going through the right wing. That means uh, Paul Muchulezi uh, will be playing uh, on the left. Of course, I'm not a coach. I'm mm. not Freddy Kajoba, oh, but I'm trying to uh, be just... tactical, technical. <laughs> uh, talking about the key players, who do you think will be the deciders into this game? I uh, remember we had Okero, Tadeo. Uh, there is a time we had uh, last season, uh, actually the f uh, reverse fixture was Sech Sambu against Azizi Kayondo, uh, which uh, Sech Sambu did win. Uh, this time around, who are the key players going to this game? Uh, I feel there are a couple of players going into this one. And um, I will start with Muzamir Mutiaba. Uh, he, for me, I feel that he's one of the players that, uh, I mean, do not get the, the kind of recognition I think he, I feel he deserves. Sometimes he's, he's going to be off. Then sometimes he's going to come and have a very good one. But I feel such big games, and he has been uh, standing out in at least most of his games this season. We saw what he did in the first leg against Vipers. Um, he got that goal that won us the game. So I feel he's going to be very key. Him and Kezron in that midfield are going to be the creative uh, spark for the team. Uh, then Gift Ali, uh, a player that doesn't get enough, um, should I say, plundits, just yeah. like most of uh, other registers, let me say, around. Because he, for me, I feel it's the reason why KCC is, I mean, still has a chance in, in, in this league. Probably still has some hope. Because you look at how he dictates play from where he is. And, I mean, those passes, he's also going to be key. Then, not forgetting the, the skipper, that is Charles Lukwago. People will speak about the, 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 the players up front. 
but they forget the goalkeeper. On his good day, Lukaku is unplayable. On his good day, because I mean, yeah, by like unplay, to over the weekend. Yes, by play by unplay, by I mean he's going to try to save everything that will be thrown. Uh, I mean, towards him. So if he can contain the nerves for, for a big game like that, and I feel he's been there before because he's played for the national team, and he's, he's on his good day, he can try to block some of their their opportunities. So we may feel Lukwago, um, Gift Ali, Muzami and Muzami Mutiava. Mutiava plus Kezron would be very key. Not forgetting, I mean, I mean, special mentions to Sechi Sambo, Mike Mutiava, and, 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 and the defenders, because you have uh, a, a one Magamba and Philbert of Benchan scoring on the weekend, so they get into this one with, yeah, with a lot of It's games. going to be tough uh, for them against uh, a Pese Bayo. Yes, but, but then course. you forget, I mean, when, when you talk about Carissa disturbing uh, Chiza, you forget that on that, on that, on that left, sorry, on, um, on that wing still Chiza can also be something else because the, the, the guy trying to attack, his, I mean, that wing might want to do it that much and he forgets that Chiza can also do the same on their side. So all those dimensions give us a different a feel about this game. So I feel very many players can do it, but I mean, those ones that I mentioned, I feel can turn up on the day and give us what we want. All right. Abdul uh, for the time we've been at Vipers, yeah, there have been a lot of coaches. Uh, we had uh, Golora Edward, uh, Michael Nam, uh, then uh, Martinez, uh, Da Costa. Uh, what's different over what different thing does uh, uh, Freddy Kajova bring into the because it's the first time he's going to face uh, Mike Mutebi mm. in case uh, under Vipers, Vipers yeah. goal. Mm. Mostly, uh, we had a problem, I think, in the first round where we collapse in the, in the second half of the game. Like, we use a lot of energy in the first uh, half, and then the second round, we, the players collapse, like, they don't have energy to push ahead. We, we really saw this changing in the game against uh, Marara City in the game against uh, Bull. Bull FC. So endurance and now the fitness they have is on another level, I can tell you this. They're fast, they are quick, respond quickly. There's passion as well. Like they, need, like they push themselves harder to go. Like we can't, we can't give up, let's keep on going. So I think for me something uh, different, he brought into the team, the motivation he has in the players, the, and some players really trust him. Like you can say, he needs to push us more harder. Uh, if you were uh, the patron mm. or the big man at the club, <laughs> of all the coaches that have been there, which one would you I pick? Want, I, I won't answer that. <laughs> I won't answer that question. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> he, yeah, I've just realized he's a coward, but of course, coward is <laughs> not being a coward, but. No, 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 no. You've been close to all these coaches. Yeah, uh, these coaches are my friends. Yeah. So when we come and say, is my younger or Magero? They say. Uh, no, no. When it comes to professionalism, uh, you, you're choosing work, mm. not friendship. Yeah. Uh, I know. Anyway, me, I but would me, go. Me, I would all, go. Me, I okay, would go me, with. Uh, okay, for me. Fr of course, Freddy Kajoba, okay. because he's the current manager. Okay, for yeah, me. I cannot go okay, with Okay, for me, I'll say they are all good coaches. I've worked under them. They are all good coaches. Uh, Magero. Uh, when you look at uh, the statistics, Vipers last beat, uh, I mean, cases A, last one against Vipers away from home in 2010, 2011. I mean, yeah, at yeah, home. Yeah. At home, yeah. That was three. Like no, 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 no. I mean, the, the, the Premier League. Uh, is this going to be the end to that? Because it's clocking, is it nine, eight years? And uh, by then, you are even still. <laughs> oh, yeah, in what? school. Complete. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I want complete. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't get your question well. You say, is it going to be the day from the case against the Yeah, are we at Vipers? Uh, I, I can't come out and say, yes, it's assured we're going to win. No. The football game has, I mean, three results. We could go and win, we could go and draw, we could go and lose. But uh, the beauty is, we believe we can go there and, 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 and get picked. I like, I like the belief. Yeah, we believe. And we you have always believed, and, and, by and, the way. And pick the three points. We'll not try to think about what happened in the past seasons because I know, yes, they say history repeats itself, but I mean, sometimes history also has limits and um, people have kind of <coughs> broken records before. Otherwise, it would stick to what was there in the past. So I feel Casey Sika. And Saddam Juma squad in that one for Vipers there. I, feel, I mean, just like he could go and score tomorrow. I mean, we all know him how he's a very big game, yeah, player. Big game player. We have seen him how he has stood up, different end national team, even for the for the for KCC, even Vipers. Wherever he has been, so not only him and a couple of players. So I know all the players on the day can go and stage a very big upset. 
uh, to Vipers. And for me, if they win that game and we get two points close, then we are going all the way until the very final day. But if we draw, it keeps the situation as it is and we just keep hoping and winning our games. If we lose that one, it makes it harder for us, but not impossible. So all, 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 all I mean, all results can, can mean something going into this one. All right, to the viewers out there, uh, your predictions are very important in this. Uh, you can go onto the page and do a predict who do you think uh, will win between Vipers and KCCA. Uh, Masaba Napio says Wasike, the team can only field 11 players. Uh, so he's trying to say that however much uh, depth you have uh, at uh, the club, you will only field 11. Uh, Nacho Brian Amot says Team Vipers must win this. Uh, Ernest Aklo, the gentleman behind the voice, say thank you. Live from Stockholm, don't forget to talk about Chikankane, who won his first event after two years. Uh, of course, you have to know. Uh, that's Sekse Shalifa. She has a lot of names. Uh, Shalifa Enram, live from Stockholm. Of course, I've not been to Europe so often. Uh, I don't know where Stockholm is. Is it Sweden? Sweden yeah. Stockholm is Sweden? Yeah. Not Switzerland? Yeah. Uh, the last time you were out in Cairo. Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. I've always been to Europe, <laughs> but of course not Stockholm. Yeah, I'm not Stockholm. Uh, now, I want a very honest answer on this. Starting with you, Magero. Yeah. Do you want to ask us now? Who's the next president of Uganda? No, 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 no. The next president of Uganda will be, will be the current president. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you had a chance to get three players from Vipers to add into your squad. Who are these three players? If I had a chance, come again. If you had a chance to get three players from Vipers into your team ahead of tomorrow's game, who are the three you would pick? There is no saying no. You mean it has to be conclusive like that? Yeah, 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 you are, you, about if I'm with the squad? No, 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 no. This is not about being contented. This is about okay. picking. At least it's thinking. a must you have to pick. Yeah, it's a must. Ah. We're back to those old days. But um, I feel I would, I, would, I would pick their captain to make it on the bench for my team. For that uh, yeah, it doesn't matter whether on the bench or in, in the, the squad. Yeah, I would, make, I would pick their captain to make it on the bench. Ali Duraliwa? Yes, Ali Duraliwa to make it on the bench. Mm -hmm. I think uh, another person I would pick to make it on the bench could be Fahad Bayo to make it on our bench. Because, I mean, if I look at my bench and I know I have... Those big men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, 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 yeah I know it's tough for, for, for him not to come and play. No, no, I know it's tough for Bayo to come and not play. But of course, you. But it, the fact is, it's tough for him to walk into that team. It's going to be very tough for him. Uh, so I would pick the captain, I would pick Bayo. And uh, the, other, the last player, uh, I struggled to get that one. But I think I would take uh, Waswa. Waswa, yeah, the deputy captain. I would pick him also too, you know, because I, I feel I could, I could get a Kato sick. Magambo and I say what's get on. So I feel those three can make the bench, but not walk straight into that KCCA team. Ah, you're Wasiki, kidding me. You have your turn. <laughs> you're kidding three players me. from KCCA uh, that uh, you would pick to fit into the Vipers Without side. Without thinking otherwise, I'll go for Zabiru Mutiava. Mm -hmm. This is a player I've watched grow into the game. So uh, it's so about I'll, friendship. No, eh? it's about friendship. I've mm. seen him grow into the game. So is it friendship? No, he's a good player. Not so. He's a good player. So I'll pick. I'll go for Chiza. Since now I don't have a left back, I'll put uh, Chiza there. Now you're being tactical, technical. Yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll that put means Chiza. these players from uh, KCCA are starting right into the Vipers team. Yeah, yeah, automatically. Yeah, so why would uh, I bench? Uh, yeah, the others. Uh, what, why would they on the, yeah, yeah. No, what would I put them on the bench? Uh, yeah. Because uh -huh. uh, what my colleague has done is uh, is like showing me that the other ones are uh, because you can't you can't compare. Kato to Hari. You can't. No, 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 no. You can't it's compare Magambo to Hari. You can't. No way. No, 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 no. You can't. You can't. You can't compare those words. Yeah, I'm trying to. So to, the last to, one I think would comments. be uh, would be uh, Charles Lukwago. Ahead of uh, Mutombola? Uh, Charles Lukwago would go the bench as well, I think. Oh. Since it's, yeah, since it's five people on the bench. I'll put just on the oh, bench. Yeah, yeah. Now, 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 now uh, for, for, for players at Vipers and KCCA, you know uh, which position uh, the people that would be incoming would be playing. That just says it all. Uh, you don't trust Magambe enough and uh, because of Haridi. Of course, you don't trust Anako and company because of Bayo. Just imagine I trust him as I'm trusting him as a substitute. When I look at my bench, I want to see 
What a joke! The best goalkeeper in the second region. Is that possible? Like, like the, best the, best, the, the best, best defender, the best defender as well. Hadi, oh, the so you're talking well. about those playing in Sukafa? No, no, I'm because I'm very player. sure Denis Onyang must be very <laughs> angry with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he comes from the Sukafa region. Hey, no, no, Denis Onyang, no, 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 wherever you are, hey, we just we apologize. He is from Sukafa. No, 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 we apologize. You need to apologize, by the way. You need to apologize. So you you don't include Onyang. I, you know, definitely, Onyango is the best goalkeeper. I mean, not even taking anything away from him in, in, in Africa, on the oh. continent. But I mean, in the just concluded, so, he no longer plays. I mean, the locally best so, player. Next the best locally best <laughs> goalkeeper in Sekafa. Uh, <laughs> Corinne's Ricardo says Vipers is winning. Uh, Clef Chazom Tegeke. Uh, I don't know whether you are truly Omtegeke, but of course, I'm not your father who named you that. <laughs> I can see he will take it 2-1. Uh, uh, Masaba Napio says yes, a Clive. Clive is a KCC fan, so we know it. Nasa, says, Nasa Ken no says Vipers 1, Kasasiro Boys 0. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, then uh, uh, talking mm. uh, charges, because mm. this is not a question that will go to Magero. Mm. Uh, I'm hosting him, actually. Yeah, yeah. What are the charges? Mm. And then... Uh, uh, where, what time are the gates getting open? Because sometimes it's tough at <coughs> yeah. stand, I must mm. admit. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, but tomorrow by 1 p.m. the gates will be open. And uh, the entrance is uh, 10,000 for the ordinary and then uh, 30,000 for, for VIP. Uh, so mm. when I pay 10,000, mm. I can also use the other uh, wing where the students sit over. No, you can't use the wing of the students because the students are back a back and uh, that's specifically for the students uh, who pay actually they pay people think that these students don't pay but the students pay uh their money to these games and for them it's a five thousand because they pay fifty thousand seasonal tickets ticket. ticket. so s some of them pay five thousand if they don't have those uh, those uh, season tickets uh, so some even pay for the vip You've seen them sit in the, the VIP, so they pay their money. So this thing of saying these students don't pay, we just give them free no way. We don't give them free free games because uh, they pay. I think I'm against that because okay, mm. maybe that's theirs, but uh, how we do it this side is because we feel we want to get the students to love the sport. Mm. The sport is not at that level where but we have to make everybody pay. So I feel that is them. I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm taking nothing away from them. But yeah, I, and you don't have a school at uh, that no, stadium. No, no, but, but students, you don't have a school at that yes, pitch. we don't. <laughs> yes. But the issue is, we, mine is whatever student, I mean, even if they're not studying from, because we don't have a school, like we're not a... So, 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 so students from Chitende can board, their, can board their bus and come, and watch come to watch KCCA for playing free. against the police for free? They just have to show their, their, their students' ID for Chitende for free. Because oh. we know after, I mean, when they get it out from school and go to campus and also leave campus, those are the next funds. So we're trying to make them love the sport. So maybe that's them, and I'm taking nothing away from them, but that's my opinion. Why? Why should be a student from St. Mary's Chitende on a boarding school board a bus from Chitende to come and watch but police play KCC yeah. when they when love, police they love and KCC are, no, 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 are going no. to come to Chitende? Yeah, yeah, that's very simple because one, they are, it's a boarding school. One, Don't Chitende has a bus. So they can body that no, bus. They can't. If they didn't yes. have a bus, they, they can't. They yeah, yeah. can't. Because uh, the same team are we, going to come to Chitende. We're joined by Alan Okero. Hey. Thanks for that goal against, I don't know the opponent, massive, but, massive, I, but I know massive. you're playing for Paladu. Massive, That's massive. all I know. I know you're playing for Paladu, I don't know the opponents. <laughs> the only opponents I know in Algeria is MC Alga. Uh, Constantine. Uh, is more like Constantine. 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 Uh, they nearly killed the Vipers. Mm -hmm. Aaron Chiza Brian watching from Burundi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the midfielders that Mike Motebi rates highly, uh, Alan Chiza Brian. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Alan Jolly, James Sonyanga, I know you must be watching. <laughs> Greetings to KK. Tell him, of course, we have unfinished business. Either with him or Langman. <laughs> uh, have to yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Because I'm sending a message to Anton Lafo. Oh. Denied us that chance to make it to the group stages. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. Because the CFN is talking about Lafo, yeah. I just keep quiet and listen because it was his <laughs> know what so For some reason, I, I got a notification. I think it was to remind us. <laughs> oh. uh, now, this could be one of the last questions. Okay. And it is, and I don't want a no, and I don't want to say I'm not a coach. If you were Mike Mutebi, mm. Freddy Kajoba, 
Of course, your Kajoba is my mm. yeah. But now you're changing the the wings. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, no, your Kajoba is my. Mm. Pick your eleven for tomorrow. Ah. Of course, this does not mean that you don't agree with what the coach will put out. Yeah. Uh, the viewers out there. Yeah. Not, my, not just my, the problem. My, it's my, it's my your opinion. opinion. My opinion. Yeah. Uh, number one, I'll go for Fabian Mutombora in goal. I'll go for Paul Wheeler, right back. I'll go for Geoffrey Waswan, left back. I'll go for Siku and uh, Halid, Halid in central defense. In six, I'll go for I'll go for Siraje. Uh, I'll play Karim Watambara, Watambara and Bobo Sbiaruhanga in midfield. Uh, then up front, I'll go for Kalisa. I'll go for Fahad Bayo and Tito Okero. All right. Uh, Paul Mchures, you're sitting on the bench. Uh, no, you asked me the question. Probable? Yeah, of course. Oh, well, well, not you probable, make, your that's opinion. Make it hard. Yeah, like, yeah make it hard. Yeah, 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 I, I, yeah, I think no, 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 you're saying, saying it at us as players. Are saying so and, so and players would say, hey, what was the TV not on your face? We're not trying to. Clive, can they give me your combined 11? Is what he's trying to. Uh-huh. Yo, if you, you might move yes, Of course you have the assist, the of, uh, Yeah, of course you have the assistants. Your neries are there, the money be yeah. But of course you make the uh, <laughs> final decision. Tell yeah. me um, your best eleven for tomorrow that you think will win the game from Chiten. I think in real typical Mike, uh, I would go for <laughs> Charles Lukwago. Yeah, typical Mike would have gone for, for who? <laughs> <laughs> that's his captain. <laughs> <laughs> the, the typical Mike I know. Can uh, can go for Merusi. Big game, big boy. Introduce to the. You know you have to. You, you know you have to introduce him to the. We don't know what will happen in this training today, but I would go for uh, Charles Lukwago, my captain. I would go for um, the defense. Will have Phil Bato in, in right back. Um, Kiza Mustafa. No, sorry, Hassan Musa at left back, and uh, Peter Magambo in centre back. That's a back three. A back three. On the right, uh, on, the, on the right flank, in the in the five-man midfield, I would go for Moses Aliro, uh, and uh, I would have Gift Seat as the register for the team. And then for the creative roles, I would have Kizron Kizito and Muzamir Mutiaba, and I would have Kiza on the <coughs> left of the five-man midfield. But as he comes back to to try to help uh, Musana, yeah, because of Kalisa. Yes, and and also Aliro coming back to help Obenchan. Then up front, I would have two. That is. Mike Mutiaba and uh, Elisa Sekisambo. Yeah, and then the rest will be on the bench. Yeah, of That's course, of course I know, uh, of course I know which of the two teams would win. But of course none of these are coaches. They've never attended any coaching course. Uh, no, 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 you have... Uh, no, 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 no. I have Kaf Chu for coaching. There's no Kaf Chu. And now the final question. But you said the final question. No, no, no. I said the other one was not the final. Okay. But this is the final. Okay. Predictions. If they are goals, you give me the goal scorers. You start with him. I, I have started twice. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> start with the champion. No, 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 no. You no. will end with the champion. Start with the champion. The current champion. No, no, no. Maybe I, maybe, maybe I start with the champion. No. We, I end with the, the one new champion. The champion. Yeah. I think should start. So, okay, start. No, no, no. Uh, this explains yeah. the cowardice between these two guys. <laughs> and of course, we know uh, sometimes it does not matter whether you score first or not. Yeah. What matters is the result at the final whistle. Okay. Prediction? To zero. Go scorers. Kalis and Bayo. Wow. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> Prediction? Uh, 2 1 KCC Football Club. Mm -hmm. um, Mike Mutiaba and Elisa Sekisam. Vipers. Uh, Bayo. Yeah. The same bio. I, no, no, I have a feeling bio is good. Yeah. <laughs> the same bio was putting on the bench. On my team, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was on my team. <laughs> all okay. right, all right. Uh, we got into uh, concluding this. Uh, if any of you get this prediction right from me, I'll give you 10,000 worth of airtime. Okay. No, 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 it doesn't matter. By the way, I've not said 10,000 since dollars or anything. I've said 10,000. I've said 10,000. 
Are you also talking about... No, the scorers? question had scorers and uh, a prediction. Uh, uh, just, just if you ask me my prediction, the home team will win. The home team will win. With which margin? So we have... Uh, so am I getting airtime from you as well? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Right. Is, is, is said. No, 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 no. This is a prediction. Okay. Uh, I know the home team. I know. I know the home team the will win. I know, the, I know the home team will win. But of course, <laughs> I know the home team will win. <laughs> but of course, the away team will take the three points, <laughs> which means it can be a draw. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. But Chibada uh, Pandits, uh, the producer, the host, the MD, the technical team, the photographer. Please, in case someone gets the prediction right, please. Give us a big reward, not 10,000. Yeah, yeah, Nicholas Bamlanzechi, thanks for watching. Uh, Good uh, photograph. Yeah, one of the best. Mm -hmm. Prince Eric, thanks for watching as well. Uh, Omar Abdallah, I'm behind the KCCA. Mm. Uh, being behind means, uh, Clive Chazze says, a combined 11 is here. Now I want to see whether any of you can make a good coach. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, listen, 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 listen. If you fit in his light up, I want to see whether any of you is Omotegeke like he is. Charles Rukwagen goal, Harry Diralgwa, or Ben Chan, and uh, Magambo. <laughs> Where is the worst one? Uh, Mustafa Chiza, Innocent Wafula, uh, Gift Ali, Mzamiro, and Kezlon. And then uh, now uh, Mike Mutiaba and Bayo, which means in Clive's combined 11, the uh, KCC players are Lukwago 1, Hari uh, Benchan 2, Magambo 3, Chiza 4, Gift 5, Muzamiru 6, uh, Mutiaba 7. Only three pl uh, four players from Vipers. Mm -hmm. Can make it in Clive's KCC a team or mm. a combined yes. team. Mm. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, a KCC fan, thank you very much for your combined lineup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a <laughs> KCC fan. Mm. Uh, some uh, <laughs> Obua nicknamed him Omusuni. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, King David, as well, uh, and everyone out there that has been watching with us. Uh, next week, we shall come here knowing the draws for the Chan uh, because they are Uganda is in port three, surprisingly, uh, uh, Rwanda is in port two. So it's kind of surprising, but it's because uh, Uganda has never gotten out of uh, the group stages at the Chan tournaments. Uh, what about now? See you next Monday. Thanks to the producers and everyone that has been watching. And thanks to my two. I wish you luck tomorrow. And I... Uh, not really. I want both of you to win. <laughs> is it possible? Possible? Yeah, yeah, and I take a point, you take a point, he takes a point. Yeah. Mm. But no, I don't, I don't go for that. I think yeah. there should be a winner. You know who the winner is. Anyway, I wish there is a winner tomorrow. Yeah, the host automatically. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you.